Welcome to Raw Holla. Uh, Pierre had some of the <laughs> most <laughs> innovative guitar <laughs> gameplay I have seen in a long time. I mean, he was hitting gravity cancel sidelights that should not have hit. And yet he was throwing them out like they were the safest move in the game. He has some innovative stuff, and we might be seeing that come out to play with a cannon. Who knows? He's probably been labbing, uh, labbing, labbing cannon for a while, but Sandstorm with a very interesting pick. I know the blasters carry over from uh, uh, Nyx. We played that a little bit a few years ago, but like a bow? A bow? Question mark? What? Uh, this is a pretty interesting pick to come uh, yeah. coming out from Sandstorm, but. Again, it's Sandstorm, and also Diana has that, so may maybe that's <laughs> the reason. You know, D-Light and Sig coming out from Diana, that's a Di Diana player's favorite move to hit. And he he's just keeping it going. How fast has this game been? We've been 40 seconds in. He's yeah. already hold stock in the deficit, but now Pierre on the All side right. stage with this cannon in hand. Trying to do as much damage as he can onto ground, onto Sandstorm. Goes for the ground pound. Still with these, uh, this cannon in hand. Trying to approach Sandstorm in any sort of way possible. <gasps> Good jump directly over that recovery. And the D-Light Nair oh will confirm God. it. This cannon has been going pretty well and been proven to go pretty well against Sandstorm here against his Diana. So... Let's see what he can do on the other side. Sandstorm now has this bow in hand, has a relatively fresh stock, and he gets another D-Light D -light N Sig to take off Pierre's second stock. I'm gonna be I'm just gonna say this. I'm a Diana main myself. And like I, I love every time I catch a player's dodge with bow and I just go for D-Light N Sig and it kills on yellow. And it's great. <laughs> it's the it's a fantastic move. And Honestly, Sandstorm already hit it twice here against Pierre. Do we want to start another counter? That was a nice dodge to dodge away from that end sig. But Pierre is just not letting him get back to the stage. The D-Light Nair off the side of the stage, but he's still not dead yet, but he is super damaged. The end light almost confirming it, but not exactly there yet. The Nair will do it, and Pierre's doing a really good job with the cannon this game. Yeah, Pierre's cannon, uh, he's... The way that he's playing, it makes sense. Like, this is, yeah, this is this is definitely canon. The real interesting part about his gameplay right here is how he's outspacing both blasters and bow. That is something, if you watch some of the ways that, like, Sandstorm whiffs attack, some of the ways that Sandstorm has to throw out an attack to prevent Pierre's approach, and Ooh. yet, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. It's just the way that Pierre is out spacing blasters, and although Pierre loses the first game, I gotta say, I don't know who, uh, yeah, although Sandstorm was the first game, I don't know who wins the trip. I feel like I the the bright colors and like the little details we got on Pierre's is kind of cool. On a Pierre's setup is kind of cool, but also I'm, that is yeah. It's not a lot of people use that Diana skin. It's also it's just cool to see. My eyes are drawn to the bright colors of Pierre. I'm always gonna have a bright uh, a bias for bright colors, but still, we yeah we don't see a lot of people use that Diana skin. That's it's just always kind of cool to see a. Uh, a bit of an underused skin kind of come out to play a bit. That's always nice. Thanks for the rep, Storm. I, I will talk about drip, but to be honest, my takes in drip are absolutely terrible, so I'm going to let chat decide on whether that's good drip or not. Say it in chat. But Ooh. with that being said, he go Pierre goes down to the D-Sig, almost getting the knockout onto Sandstorm, and the ground pound will oh do it. Pierre with an incredible lead for the first stock in the game. Get that sword ground pound and now has to try and snowball as much damage as he can onto Sandstorm. Sandstorm with his bow in hand gets the dodge read. Goes for the uh, end. He even dodged through that. He but he just so many dodges. For mid, nice D sig. Uh, Diana Bow Delight into End Sig is just like Scythe, uh, Side Light into, like, Chase Dodge End Light, where it just, it catches literally every single dodge. No, go into the game and go into the training room and try it. They catch so many dodges. 
Yes, yeah, if you have no dodge, you're dead. If you dodge in any sort of way, there's a good chance that you might be dead. You know, Diana actually might be broken. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit. But that doesn't seem to stop Pierre. Pierre doesn't care if it's broken or not. He gets the desync, keeps the stocks in his favor. He still has his first stock. Sandstorm's already down to his last. Pierre don't care. Pierre don't care. Outspacing Blaster so well. It's not quite able to run away from the recovery. Recovery's got a decent amount of drift, and you can, uh, sometimes it can be kind of hard to run away from, but still is in a pretty delicious lead right now in game two. Peter's been getting a little trigger happy with these signatures, and I think that's kind of how Sandstorm is able to even up the game, get some more of these punishes, and also saying, like, oh, you might use a signature in this place. I can just expect the punish. So I feel like if Pierre sticks to the, uh, Sticks to the light attacks. We could be seeing a 1-1 one, one here. We see the cannon come out. Both cannon and sword can have some pretty decent KO options just kind of lined up off the bat. So I don't really see any harm oh, in switching weapons out. as needed. Tries to get a recovery to cover the space. Oh my it ends up being a Lord, second recovery Pierre. to seal the game. Look at this damage difference. A two stock victory coming out for Pierre in game two of the set. Wow, this Sidra has just been going crazy. And now I can't tell if Sandstorm so by any chance switched difference. his character. No, he didn't actually. He's still on this Diana. He still wants to see if it goes crazy, but Pierre just been going absolutely crazy that game. And as you can see, he did 433 sword damage that game. Three, two. Touching back down onto small brawl haven. Pierre nabs sword. Sandstorm is able to kind of push him off to the side to grab bow. We do, uh, we do have some small combos happening out. That's gonna let Sandstorm grab a pretty nice early lead. Pierre still being pretty trigger happy with these signatures. I have a feeling we're gonna be seeing that D sig a a lot this game. I mean, hey. I mean, we saw that level on, on the Sidra, right? Man's probably been laughing cannon for quite a few hours in the training room and also probably just sparring his friends a bit here and there. Ooh, he Picks up with the recovery. Sandstorm is going to just keep tossing Pierre's first stock off to the side and just tosses the side stick out like it's nothing. Pierre now has one hell of a mountain to climb and I think we're gonna have to see a lot of that work being done on SWAT. No, actually, Sandstorm just completely steals blasters out right from under him. We might be seeing another weapon star, not quite. Pierre just trying to uh, um, gain his footing and I think Sandstorm kind of noticed like, okay, you've learned to outspace all the situations I try to throw you into because that's one of the things that Sandstorm is best, forcing situations on you that he always knows the correct answer Ooh. to. That would have been an insane situation to see on stream, though. Could you imagine if that ends a hit? Oh my oh, lord, Sandstorm. That's just as cool. Who does that, that works, actually. Who does Never mind. Who other than Sandstorm at that point? Uh, who other than Sandstorm would just randomly walk off the side of the stage, go for unarmed stare, and get the KO off the side of the stage? Nice D-Light recovery, though, coming out from Pierre, finally taking off that first stock off of Sandstorm. But Sandstorm, his Diana has just been proving to be absolutely crazy he tries to go for the dare these blasters on hand are just trying to find any sort of hit as they can against pierre but he's clearly not letting him get his last stock as freely as possible he's get he wants this game and he wants it bad All right, but Pierre with this sword in hand, still dealing a good amount of damage, going for the d -sync, just barely going off the side of the stage. If that managed to land on Sandstorm, that probably would have been the KO and the stocks relatively even. But this is what he's been trying to avoid. Sandstorm is trying to land a, a bunch of damage. If he, no! Oh my God, no way. No! Okay. I hope you're happy, you know Space. Yeah, we just saw yeah, Blasters. Yeah, yeah, that was... That was we just, we just, I, I we just saw a Blasters can, moment. I really can't explain anything other than, yeah, that's Blasters. <laughs> we just saw a Blasters moment live on, like, essentially the Brawl equivalent of public television. I hope you're happy, man. Everyone knows now. No. <laughs> I've been trying <laughs> to keep this away from everybody. Yeah, also, that little play right there. That was that, crazy. Uh, just dashing off the stage for a unarmed sidelight. Part of the reason that... Part of what makes it so weird is that you could have 
uh, slide charged a uh, a breakdance, a down heavy, which is also a pretty safe option. You could have gone out there for a gravity cancel uh, D light, which would have led to either a sair or a ground pound mid air. No, it was just the it was just the raw um, uh, the side light that it it. It's such a unique yeah. option. Who other than Storm? Yeah, I mean, of course. If you do see on your screen, Pierre uh, has that Sidra. But however, if we switch uh, switch to in-game view, we will be noticing we have a bit of a change of pace. Uh, stick still sticking with the pirate theme from Sidra to Thatch. Pierre is bringing out the uh, the blasters. I'm seeing a blaster versus blaster match in winner's quarterfinals. I am living a dream right now. Life could be a dream. Life could be... Okay. Anyways, <laughs> the Sandstorm manages to land the Nair Nair going for a GC sidelight. Now, I wonder how Pierre's blasters are going to prove up against Sandstorm, considering it's going to be a ditto <laughs> match, actually. But... Oh my oh lord! My god. Okay. What? Oh wow. my wow. god. Wow. Wow. I know at least just, some of that was wow. like a bit of, oh yeah, Thatch has little wow. defense, Thatch is a glass cannon, but like still... No, forget glass cannon, Sandstorm that would have killed so anybody. Yeah. <laughs> no, Sandstorm is doing so much. There is... I mean, a lot of what he's doing is just so extra. He doesn't have to do all this. I think he's just putting on a show. This man is just so... It, he's just so extra. Side side oh, side 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 and he just keeps going, keeps his damage going. And the Sire right. finally comes out from Sa from Pierre, getting that KO on Sandstorm. But Pierre is on one stock orange, approaching red now. And Thatch orange against Diana is basically red, and red is basically crimson. Pierre needs to play a perfect game of Brahalla just to stay alive in a bracket, just to bring it to a 2-0. Just to maybe stand up to that 06 of uh, uh, kind of history and say like, you know what? I think I deserve a little bit better, but I think, that, yeah, that's that's gonna have to wait. We do have a bit of a core thumbs up. I love the character development in this game. Yeah. There was core thumbs yeah. down, but now we got core thumbs up. Let's go. Now we got core thumbs up. I love the character development. Man, who says Brahal doesn't have story? Yeah, that was. Incredible job coming out from Sandstorm, and now I'm excited. I'm very excited to see yeah. to see how uh, Sandstorm does with di this Diana. If he does play it in a major, I am sorry. I don't care who else is in the match. I am cheering on Sandstorm.